Hi, my name is Warren, and I am the product genius here at South Shore Mini. First off, I'd like to congratulate you on your new Mini Countryman. In this video, I'd like to provide you with a welcome introduction and overview of your new Countryman, and walk you through all of the many features and functions found in your new Mini. So to begin, starting over on your left, here on the driver's door, we'll take a look at your side view mirror controls, which are at the top of the panel here. There's a joystick and a little rocker switch that you can select left or right. And then the joystick will allow you to make the adjustments to your side view mirrors. Just below that, you'll find your four window controls, and these are one-touch automatic up and down. At the very bottom, you'll see a button with a little picture of a window and an X. This will allow you to disable the rear window controls in case you have kids or pets in the rear seat, and you don't want them to inadvertently uh, lower or raise a window. When this is activated, you'll see a little green light come on letting you know that the rear controls have been disabled. Moving up, integrated into your door handle here, you'll find your door locks. You'll see the same thing over on the passenger side of the car as well. Moving just to the left of your steering wheel, you'll find the headlight controls. This control switch is currently over to the left on the A position, that's going to be fully automatic for your headlights. They will automatically activate the daytime running lights during the daytime, and the headlights will automatically come on at night. Additionally, the headlights will also come on when it is raining and your wipers are running. The additional functions you see here are all just manual operation of your headlights. Straight up and down on the zero is going to be off. Next position over is going to be your parking lamps. And then all the way to the right is just going to be headlights on manually. The little round button here at the top is actually going to activate your front fog lights. Those will be manual and you will simply hit the button when you would like to activate those. You will see an indicator in your speedometer showing that fog lights are active. Simply press the button again to deactivate. And then you'll see a little wheel here on the right. This will adjust the intensity of your instrument cluster at nighttime. So if it's too bright, you can go ahead and roll this wheel down a little and that will dim your instruments for you. Moving over directly in front of you and starting at the top, you will find your head-up display if your vehicle is equipped with one. The head-up display is going to provide you with the most important driving information directly in your line of sight as you look out at the road ahead of you. You'll see things like your current speed, the speed limit of the road that you're currently on, as well as turn-by-turn -turn directions from the navigation system if your vehicle is equipped with navigation. You'll also see things like incoming phone calls, as well as adjusting media sources, like the radio, directly in the head-up display. Moving down, you'll see your speedometer as well as tachometer here. The orange bars here on the right side will be your fuel gauge. When your tank is full, they'll be fully lit to the top. You can see currently we've got just about a third of a tank left. Directly in the center, here at the bottom of your speedometer, you do have a little digital display which is going to show you a variety of driving information. You can toggle through what's displayed there by using the BC button here at the end of your turn signal. So each time I press the BC button, you will see the information change in that display. And you'll see things like average speed, average miles per gallon. You can even bring up a digital speedometer here. You can look at engine temperature and you can see estimated range until empty. Of course, 
This is also your turn signal here on the left. And it is also the control for your high beams. Pull to flash your high beams and press forward to lock your high beams on at nighttime. Moving over to the right side here, the right stick is going to control both your front and rear wipers. The stick has a variety of positions depending on what you'd like to do. The first position up from off right here is going to be automatic. You can see green automatic light has come on on the stick and this is going to be a rain sensing mode. So your wipers will automatically start and stop with the rain and they will also adjust their speed depending on the precipitation. Now you can have further adjustment of the sensitivity of the rain sensor using the inner dial here from slow to fast. Continuing to move the stick up will activate low and high speed wiping and that's just going to be manual control. At the very end of your wiper control, you'll find the adjustment for the rear wiper. Simply twist in order to activate the rear wiper. Now moving directly onto your steering wheel, over on the left side, you will find your cruise control. To activate cruise control, simply press the center round button and that will activate. You can use the set, of course, to set your current speed. Plus and minus allows you to make adjustments to your set speed. You can then press cancel to cancel the system, or you can always tap the brake pedal and that will cancel cruise control as well. Moving to the right side of your steering wheel, all of these buttons are going to be entertainment related. So you're going to have volume control here, left and right. The up and down arrows will take you through either radio stations or previous and next for tracks if you're playing music from your phone. The phone button here is going to answer or hang up an active phone call. And the button above that is going to be used for voice commands. Moving over to the center part of our mini and starting at the top, we see the button here for our hazards or flashers. Just below that, we have our central display here. We're currently on our main menu and you can see all of these circles here around which signify all of the different categories we have to choose from. So just scrolling around, we see media radio on the bottom right. Above that, we have communication followed by notifications, mini connected, my mini and navigation because this mini is equipped with the navigation system. If you didn't have navigation, you simply would not have this circle with the checkered flag, but you would still have all of the other categories that we see here. Just below the central display, you have a couple buttons, band and mode. These will allow you to toggle through different media sources from FM, AM radio, music collection and auxiliary source. The forward and backward arrows will allow you to jump between radio stations. And then directly at the bottom here, we have buttons labeled one through six. These buttons are memory buttons and they can be programmed to anything in the mini's operating system. Now I do have another video that is an in-depth tutorial on how to use these and how to program them. But the gist of it is you simply have to highlight the item you'd like to store on the button. And I'll show you how that works right now with a radio station. If I come into FM radio here, I've highlighted 99.1. I'll simply press and hold the button I'd like to store it to. And you hear the chime. And now I've got 99.1 on button one. 
Moving down below the central display, we have our climate control section. In this case, we have dual zone automatic climate control. We can adjust our temperature independently on each side. The center larger dial is going to adjust our fan speed. We can see automatic is currently lit here. And that means that the car is going to automatically select which vents are appropriate from a top, middle, and below based on the temperature you've set. If you'd like to control the vents manually, simply press on the little person icon in the center here, and that will bring up the manual control. You'll see little arrows that indicate where the air is going to come out of, and you can continue to press it and toggle through all of the different vent configurations. Now, all of the buttons below here are going to be climate-related functions. So starting on our left, we have the driver's heated seat, front defrost, rear defrost, fresh or recirculated air, air conditioning, max air conditioning, and the passenger's heated seat. Moving down, we find a row of toggle switches. Now, depending on how your Mini is equipped, you may or may not have the exact switches we see here in this vehicle, but I will go through these specific ones and I will mention that there might be a different one there or it may just be missing altogether. So starting on the left, this switch may or may not be here, whether or not you have the parking assistant. If you do, there'll be a little P symbol on this switch. Pressing the switch will activate the parking assistant. You can see up on our central display here, you see our mini front and rear parking sensors have been activated. And this is also now ready to use the parallel parking assistant if you wanted to use that as well. To deactivate, you simply press the switch again and that turns it off. The next switch over here, it's currently lit up orange, is going to be for the fuel saving start stop system. This switch allows you to either activate or deactivate the system. The idea behind the system is that the engine will turn off when you come to a complete stop to save fuel. If you prefer for the engine to stay on and idle, pressing the switch and lighting it up orange will do that for you. The little trick here is when the light is on, the engine will stay on. When the light is off, the engine can turn off. Of course, dead center here, we have our start stop button. Moving to the right, we have another switch and that will deactivate traction control. So normally you'll want to leave this switch alone so that you can have all of your traction control systems activated. All the way to the right here, in this vehicle, this switch is actually going to turn off and retract the head up display. You may find either there's no switch here in your car, and that's totally fine. Or you may also find that this switch controls your driving modes, in which case it would be labeled sport and green. In the Mini we're in today, the driving modes are actually controlled by a ring around the shifter. But the idea is the same. You can see the ring here. And by pressing the ring to the left, I will engage sport mode and it will tell me up on my central display. Pressing it back to the right brings me back to mid, which is the normal setting for the car, balanced driving. And then all the way to the right is going to activate green mode, which is going to be the most fuel efficient mode that we have. And so feel free to toggle through these driving modes at any time you would like. 
No need to be stopped or anything. Anytime you're driving, you can adjust the mode depending on the driving style you would like. Moving just behind the shifter here, we do have our iDrive controller here. This is going to be used for our central display. We've got at the top a couple shortcut keys here. The center menu button is going to always bring you back home to your main menu. The dial, of course, will twist in order to scroll through a menu. And you can press the whole dial in to make a selection. Just to the left here, we have our electronic parking brake. In order to activate, we simply pull up on the switch and it'll light up red, indicating the parking brake is activated. And then simply press down to release the parking brake. Moving up top here above our rear view mirror, we've got a couple switches here. Starting on the left, we're gonna have our driver's reading light. The next over is gonna actually just turn on all of our lights. The center larger switch here is going to either open or close your sunroof. The button to the right of that with the little sundial picture is going to control all of your ambient lighting color. You can see the little spotlights here as I change through the colors. These are fading and you can really pick any color you'd like. And the switch all the way on the right here is going to control the passenger's reading light. Thank you for watching this tutorial video today. I hope it's been a helpful introduction to your new Mini. Once again, congratulations on being a part of the Mini family. And as always, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any more questions that you'd like me to assist with. Once again, my name is Warren and I am the product genius here at South Shore Mini. Take care.